How does air compressor start and stop automatically? Air compressor pressure switches use air lines to monitor pressurized air as it moves to and from air tank. All pressure switches have some element that reacts when pressure is applied to it. The most common device is a diaphragm that will physically compress when exposed to this air. Air pressure in compressor tank will increase and eventually build up enough backwards pressure also called cutout pressure to change the shape of this diaphragm. Deformation here will cause movement in the pressure switch. When air compressor pressure switch diaphragm is deformed enough, its movement will break contact inside the switch so that power stops flowing in the compressor's motor circuit, stopping the compressor from further pressurizing the air in tank. Constant air pressure at a specific volume will keep the diaphragm deformed. When the air pressure in tank drops far enough, the diaphragm will revert back to its normal shape. Once this pressure called cut-in pressure lightens to a certain level, an internal operator within the diaphragm will deform in an opposite manner. This movement closes the circuits and starts the motor back up again. Air compressor pressure switch continues this stance as long as machinery is using compressed air. The cycle is broken when the unit is no longer powered externally or when there is an issue. Leaks at any point in compressor's pressure switch and nearby casing can stop work and cause major problems.